Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Paint video. And in today's video, I am so excited to finally be able to get this to you guys, but we're gonna be painting the 1993 Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus from Horizon Models. Now this is a recast of the Horizon kit, and I got it on eBay from a company in Thailand called Cyber underscore Models. So we're gonna go over all the paints that I used to paint this Brachiosaurus. I decided to go with the light cream tan brown color Brachiosaurus, almost like what the one that you see uh, in the beginning of the film. That's the kind of the color powder and I decided to go for in the style of that. Uh, but you can feel free to paint this uh, dinosaur any color you want. They're dinosaurs, sky's the limit, use your imagination and remember to always have fun. So let's go over the colors that I used uh, on the Brachiosaur. First we start out with a flat gray primer. Next I went over it with a satin almond and then I finished it off with a satin nutmeg. Uh, you will also need your matte clear. Moving on next, um, I have some acrylics. I didn't necessarily use all of these but I had them on hand. Uh, they're just different browns that I have or in different you know beiges and creams and stuff like that. Uh, I have an ivory, uh, a peach, a beachcomber beige, a territorial beige, and a khaki color. And then I also have the, of course, the Vallejo wash. And you will need some black for the pupil and the eyeball. Uh, a little bit of clear nail polish gloss works really well on eyes to make them look shiny. Um, let's see. And then the watercolors. I'm using the Dale O'Rowney watercolors. You can get these at Walmart. Like 12 bucks for all these colors. And it works great. Um, out of this pack, I will be using two different browns. This is a burnt sienna. And this is a burnt umber. Uh, and I will, time to time, while you see me in the video, I will be mixing these two together to kind of play around with the colors each time to make it a little bit darker in what areas that I needed it. I will also be using a red out of here. Any kind of red will work, but uh, that's the red that I'm using, and I water it down, and uh, I apply it on the neck area. It makes it look real warm and like the animal is alive. I definitely recommend some rubber gloves if you're going to paint this one because it's huge, and you don't want to get fingerprints and, and muck it all up. On this dinosaur, I used a few different types of brushes to get the wash in some of the areas, some finer detail brushes, with little fine tips on them. I also use this. You can get these at your hardware store, Walmart, arts and crafts store. Really great for applying bigger areas on the body. And I also use little bits of foam. Um, and then of course you'll need your water. And this is just optional, but uh, this is a Lazy Susan. It's just a turntable. And this thing helped out a lot because the model is so massive being able to get to all the sides that I needed. All I had to do was just put it on there and spin it around, and it worked great. So you can get these at the dollar store or whatever, Walmart, any place that sells kitchen stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend this, but of course it's optional if you don't have one. And then you'll need your paint tray to mix your watercolors in. Of course, just the Crayola crayon paint tray. Spared no expense. And this is all the stuff that I used on this dinosaur. So let's get started and I will see you at the end of the video. Enjoy.
been extinct since the Cretaceous period. 